how many times did that just fall off the side? How many times did it roll down? The kid falls out and gets run over by the roller coaster. How many kids were standing up in the middle of this as the roller coaster went down and knocked them in the face? All the different ways to maim your small children. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasting. Hello everyone, welcome to Mid-Century Wasted. I'm Jamie and this is Sundays at Sears, my weekly series where every Sunday I flip through about 50 more pages of the 1960 Sears Summer Sale Catalog. Okay everyone, here we go. We are on the very last installment of this Sundays at Sears series. How many S alliterations can I fit into one sentence? Jeez. The 1960 Sears summer sale catalog and we are coming to an end. This is the last portion of pages and then we're going to be done. Last week we left off on moist dehumidifiers and oh boy did we ever have a lot of fun decor and curtains and all sorts of great stuff last week and I hope it's going to continue and we're not going to get into more like home improvement dehumidifier garbage but hey you never know let's see where we go with it ah air conditioners see I thought the dehumidifiers on the last page may have been air conditioners at first but here we go boy oh boy do I wish I had an air conditioner right now <laughs> Ah, yep. The joys of living at the beach in Southern California a couple weeks out of the year are pretty miserable because all of the houses here, for the most part, were built without air conditioning. Uh, a lot of people have put air conditioning in their houses at this point, but since, of course, we're renters and in apartments, uh, yeah, just it's not a thing. It's just not a thing out here. And um, it's probably like... 85 degrees inside the house right now and it's pretty sweaty too tmi anyway let's talk about the superior features zinc coated protects against rust four times longer even in salt sea air we'll see look they were even talking about the salty sea air needing air conditioners back in 1960 what the heck people give me an ac washable kenzian filter retards bacteria growth removes dust and pollen air exchange replaces smoky odor laden air with fresh outside air yeah that's definitely something they had to consider in 1960 everybody's smoking inside infinitely variable air direction control infinite there's infinite variables in air direction okay how much did this cost wow well there's options here, I guess, in different models and power and stuff. We're looking at 260 bucks for the top dollar one here. Cools and dries, cools and heats. That would be nice. All the way down to 199, 169, 95. Looks like for the bargain model, not cheap in 1960. Let me tell you, that had to have been a luxury item for sure. Here we go. Now we just got some fans. This was probably most people's uh, speed. God, even these were like really expensive. These window fans. These look like the big old industrial window fans that you would find in like a factory or something. That's a little overkill, I think, for a residential. These ones look a little more like what you would have in your bedroom or something. And you know, we actually have just like a basic box fan up in our window in our bedroom and most nights it, it works pretty well it gets the job done you know it does cool off at night around here most of the time reduced five dollars 20 inch portable fan i mean has much really changed in fan technology over the years other than the fact that everything turned to plastic i'm sure these are all like nice metal well-built fans 20 inch with push button control and built-in automatic timer i don't know what can you really say about a fan not much let's change the page Here's more. Uh, I hope we don't finish off this series just like on fans, but <laughs> let's see. Home art portable air coolers. Look at that. It's just like you roll it around in the house. One speed blower cooler. Turn switch for evaporative cooling. I don't really understand these. I mean, I guess it's just like a different kind of fan. Window air cooler. Home art attic cooling fan. Yep. Don't really have attics out here either. There's another attic fan. It's expensive. 
Man, home improvement was expensive in the 60s. Here's the nice finger chopper metal fans. Those are great. How many kids lost the tip of their finger on one of these? Back in the good old days when everything was deadly and dangerous. Three speed all purpose fan, stand included. High velocity fan, circulates 1800 CFM. Man words, technical specs. Three times the power of an ordinary 12 inch fan. Now these are kind of fun. I have seen these like in garages and stuff at estate sales. Doubles as a TV stool or handy table. Yeah, so the top of this one is like a table almost. Yeah, they call it a hassock fan. So it's like a, it's like an ottoman, but it's a fan. That style, I would like that to come back in style, please. Somebody make a new version of that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, so many fans. Now, you know, of course this is the summer catalog, so Everyone was sweating their you-know-what's off while looking at this Sears catalog. I'm sure, like I said, air conditioning was a luxury back then. It was like you got a window air conditioner if you were really lucky and probably really rich. And here's rolling fans. Look, you just roll it right up to the window. I think that's brilliant. I really do. It's a smart idea. Ah, mowers. All right, hoses. We are in a little bit of a man outdoor see see in the last episode or or one of them tires had this black and red graphic design to it and now we're in more man stuff man stuff i only say that because of the misogyny of 1960 that this was all geared towards men automatic sprinkler is that what that is sprinkle automatically Lowest price traveling sprinkler yeah that wouldn't have been marketed to Susie homemaker and the wheelbarrow the uh folding outdoor tables. It's interesting how they put the man pages in this red and black and white format. Craftsman, 18 inch real type power mowers. Of course, bagless. So all your long clippings just go right into the ground. Silent Craftsman, our best hand mower. Well, yeah, it's silent because it doesn't have an engine on it. There's no motor. It's still probably not silent. I bet it still does make like a blade sound as it's turning. That's false advertising. Let power groom your yard. Manpower. Nope. Power power. Craftsman edge trimmer. Two horsepower, four cycle engine with a no pull starter. Ah, oh, man words. <sighs> that seems dangerous. When that blade starts like whipping around like that, shouldn't the, shouldn't the cover be like on the outside so you don't chop off like every body part you have? That just doesn't seem safe. And more mowers. I do like the artwork here of like just the sketch of the house in the background and then the full detail of the mower in the foreground. I'm, I'm digging the graphics. I know we're just talking about lawn mowers here, but I am digging the graphics of this page very much. Take it easy. All three mowers have no pull starting. Easy as one, two, three. One. Just flip the starter handle over to the open position. Two, give the handle a few quick turns. It's really amazingly easy. Three, flip the handle back and presto, the powerful engine starts. Did that really work? Because, God, that one, they're making it look like a car. <laughs> Even the graphics on it have to look like, you know, this matches your chevy or whatever i don't know does chevy have a logo that looks like that i don't think it really does maybe it does and more mowers oh this one's a riding mower now we got a rider the little tractor seat on it what's this little stick was that the steering wheel it had just like a little unicycle wheel on the front three wheel rotary mower okay that definitely looks like something the 50s and 60s came up with and it stayed there just turn a key to start the engine it's getting even easier now Price cut, $10. Again, good graphics on this one. These prices are just outrageous for these mowers. I guess riding mowers are expensive today too. God, how many different kinds of mowers do we have here? Jesus. No pushing, all mowers on this page are self-propelled. Practically mows the lawn without you at this point. $104, two-speed transmission for better mowing, no pull starter. Just how little work are we asking the husband to do here? Now we have robot lawn mowers that you just put outside like a Roomba and let it just 
mow your lawn for you with attractive engine cover okay lovely lowest price we've ever offered for a self-propelled power mower or here now sears makes outdoor wiring easy why are we wiring outside for lights is that what we're doing okay i'm i'm down i, I like this I like this vibe. That architecture of that house is freaking amazing. <laughs> I wish everything looked like that. And we've got some power and some lights and some lighting and control switches and boring stuff. So let's move along. Ah, more lights. Oh, look at this one has a koala on it. Look at how weird and cute that is. <laughs> Landscape with light so gracious so welcoming my goodness lanterns from italy beautiful hand painted imports of rust proof hand casted aluminum ceiling lantern wall lantern post lantern koala bear lantern lifelike brown bear perched on greenish branch <laughs> squirrel lantern we cannot leave out the squirrel there's a squirrel lantern so lifelike you'll think he's real <laughs> do we really want that do we want to think that there's a squirrel outside at all times? And then we got the wrought iron post to go with it. Weatherproof post and lantern. There's the economy style there. Garden lights. Add charm, extra value to your home, protect it after dark. There's the oriental light, a very 1960s term. Here's the enchanting wren house light. See, I would have guessed that that was not a light. It was just like a birdhouse, but Apparently that bottom part's a light there. Pagoda light and mushroom light. I like that one. That one's pretty cool looking. Five is the bluebell light. Look at it go down. So organic. Looks just like a bluebell. Look at that. And then six here is the portable game light. So it's basically like a spotlight you'd stick outside for gaming. What kind of games are we doing? And then here's floodlights and more industrial looking ones and an adjustable holder. It's basically just the stake. Okay, well, there we go. Oh my goodness. We've got above ground swimming pools. By God, it's a real photo too. This isn't a drawing. They really set up the pool and did a photo shoot. You know, I wouldn't dive into it, girlfriend. I think we're talking like maybe three feet deep max here definitely a neck injury in the making there's the slide and the just oh my god so much fun is happening here in this picture they fell out and were too drunk to climb back in new triple wall pool it's only 44.95 god that sounds so good right now added protection aluminum sidewall protects outer surface of liner against sun rays toys pets not affected by pool chemicals. Oh God, I can't imagine what kind of chemicals they were putting in pools back then. Or just the sheer volume of it. Your skin was probably seared off by the time you're done swimming. Added strength, plastic coated steel mesh fence supports the sidewall, keeps liner from bulging or weakening under rollicking play. <laughs> oh, there's some rollicking play for you. Look, evidence of rollicking. They're mid rollick. Look at these bathing suits. Steel frame supported. Ooh, that one's expensive. That one's a lot more than the other one. Holds approximately 5,500 gallons. Three feet deep. Oh, I was right. Three feet deep. 18 foot diameter. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Look at the men in the background. I believe this is a barbecue right here. So the men are back there going to barbecue some meat. They can't be involved in all of this rollicking. This is juvenile activity for the men in the background who also are not supervising anything that's happening. And hopefully everybody even knows how to swim. Our lowest prices ever, $27.95, steel mesh supported vinyl pools, nine foot diameter. I'm getting just desperate for a little watering hole at this point. Nice, uh, nice buzz cut, like the little ducky float that she's on too. At least that dad's playing with the kids. Pool kit. Cut $50. $549. What? 12 by 27 foot kit contains everything to build an in-ground residential swimming pool. What? Except the wall reinforcing material which can be purchased locally. Once installed, pool requires little maintenance. You would literally be able to buy an in-ground swimming pool at Sears? Wow. I 
think that is just a home improvement project accident waiting to happen. How would you dig the hole? I, I have so many questions. <sighs> Ladders, slides for the pool. That's the same picture. They reused. They just cropped and reused the same picture. Same thing with the ladder. That's right there. Same thing. Here's the diatomite, di diatomite, diatomite filter. Huh, I bet that's it. Test kit, chemicals, all the chemicals, chlorine, six cans of chlorine, and then some sort of pool filter cleaner stuff. These had to have gotten pretty sludgy though, don't you think? I feel like a lot of algae would grow in these. And now we're getting into more of kind of like the kiddie pools. Vinyl pools featuring welded steel fence supports. I mean, this is a, a I don't know, a, a step up from like a blow up pool, I suppose. And it's big seven foot pool for 1388, bigger 10 foot for 2188. I mean, definitely more affordable. Learn to swim, use vinyl water rings. Water rings, learn to swim with that. Uh, I mean, I guess that's kind of like floaties or something, but what the heck is this? New water jet for fun afloat. Speeds you through the water, keeps you afloat. Hand crank propels you forward or backward. <laughs> what? Steers like a bicycle, have fun racing, play water games. Soft poly foam bow and floats won't sink, rot or mold. Using salt or fresh water has aluminum frame. Smooth, soft polyethylene blades, easy to assemble. I cannot even. Has anyone who is watching this used one of these? Please tell me if it lived up to this little like hand powered motorboat action. And would your legs get kind of like chopped up in that little blade thing? I feel like you'd run over your friends and whack them with the little motor. Jeez. Ah, the new Sea Hunt game. Sponsored by TV star Lloyd Bridges. Huh, Lloyd Bridges. Underwater action. Thrill to underwater wonders while you play the latest fun-filled water sport, shooting target fish with air bubbles. Sounds riveting. Game includes four plastic foam and vinyl fish with cables, anchors, two face masks, two air bubble guns. Anchor carries fish to bottom of pool or pond, fill gun with air, submerge, and shoot fish with air bubbles. Fish rise to the surface when shot with air. <laughs> Score points. Game licensed by TV's Mike Nelson, parentheses Lloyd Bridges, Sea Hunt series. I've never heard of that show, Sea Hunt, but there you go. It's kind of like those carnival games where you shoot the water into like the clown's mouth, but it's the opposite. You're underwater and you're shooting air into the fish and it raises it up to the top. I wonder if that even worked. Probably wasn't as good as they had hoped. Here's another nylon pool, eight foot, 2490, 10 foot, 3490. Lots of fun being had. And then here's what I remember as a kid. <laughs> Big four ring pool, 797. Swim fun for small splashers. That's just a blow up pool. Look at that one. I've never seen one quite like that before. Pool and slide. Strong rigid frame vinyl pool. Resists cracks, leaks, mildew, and fading. So that was a hard plastic vinyl, I guess. Kind of like those uh, round plastic kiddie pools too. The, the blow up ones were better. I, I feel like uh, it would crack or split or something eventually and you'd end up tearing your knee open on it. But it looks fun in concept. This is really making me want to go swimming. Oh, look at the swing sets. How sweet and dangerous. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm over here with the camera, but I'm looking at the other page, but we're going to just hold it for a second. Happy time gym set with a banked curve slide. Dangerous. I bet a lot of kids went down this part of the slide and then hit this really hard and like did a flip and an El Rolo and then came down on their face and smacked it on the ground. That's my guess. This one, our lowest priced sets even include extra swing for baby. Oh God, that looks dangerous. 
That's the baby sling. Look, there, there it is. That kid could slide right out of there, lickety split. Ah, and there's a little like seesaw one. My cousins had a jungle gym when I was growing up in the early 80s and it had one of those on it. So that style did not change much from 1960 to about 1985. <laughs> All right, now this one. <laughs> mm. Mm. The gym set that has everything, even a roller coaster. I don't know if that is the look of fun or terror on her face. Timmy clearly shoved that when she wasn't ready too. Her little ponytail's whipping in the wind. What the heck? Smaller set with eight foot roller coaster. Roller coasters, literal roller coasters. How many times did that just fall off the side? How many times did it roll down? The kid falls out and gets run over by the roller coaster. How many kids were standing up in the middle of this as the roller coaster went down and knocked them in the face? All the different ways to maim your small children. That could be the new title of the Sears summer catalog. Oh, look at that. How cute is that little set? With a little umbrella, they're having their little lemonades here. Oh, I just love it. That's darling. Umbrella table for little hosts, $12.88. Soda pop and cookies on a table set of their very own. Ideal for playing cards or games. Out of the way in a garden, nook, lawn, nursery, or playroom. Get those damn kids out of the way. Go play your games on your little table out in the lawn. Get the hell out of my damn house. That's what that is actually saying. And I concur. <laughs> I wish I could shove my kids outside into a little play set and get them out of my house sometimes. Junior size lawn swing, 1895. Let's children relax while they're having fun in the shade. Comfortable lawn swing gently sways back and forth while two small fry sit and chat restfully at ease. Two small fry. Three in one picnic table folds out. Very cute. Sandbox and pool. Wasn't that just so fun looking? Sit in a little pool of your own piss, Timmy. Did you know that happened? Beach fun at home. And not quite. Pyramid strato slide. Yeah, yeah conning tower slide yep these sort of like rocket tower things were the playground equipment of my childhood I, I will say that i did have the best of both worlds because in the early 80s all of this like 60s playground stuff was still in full effect i didn't grow up in the uh rubber plastic fall down and you just bounce right up off the ground kind of playgrounds. I, I, I grew up with playgrounds like this, you know, I'm not that far removed from this era of playgrounds, but we certainly didn't have any real roller coasters <laughs> in our backyards. Ay, 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 I just got so many things to say about this, but I mean, I guess, I guess most people lived, right? Most, most of them. Here's a teeter totter for two. Rock, 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 merrily along. Has two nine by eight inch metal seats teeter rock seesaw oh you could climb up in the middle there and what like be a referee you could sit up here while it rocks and then just like fling off and got it i got it now oh, oh. and i thought the roller coaster was death defying now let's strap an engine to the kid and let him go flying 20 miles an hour in a school zone. Here's your childhood roadster with Surrey Top, $161.88 for the very spoiled and wealthy child, apparently. Kinda looks like a golf cart in a way. Hurry, hurry, be the first in your neighborhood to own a Surrey cart with the fringe on top. Surrey with the fringe on top. Heavy canvas top is coated with rainproof black plastic. It stretches over tubular steel bolted to the back of the seat. Um, okay, rich kids. Sport cart with reverse. Ah, you can back up over your friends. Cool. Great. $147.88. Look at like the capacity here. 200 pounds. It goes 5 to 15 miles an hour. The heck? <laughs> Jesus. No helmets, no seatbelts, no parental control whatsoever. Here's a racer cart with 50% more horsepower. Same low price. 
20% increase in engine displacement steps up power to five and a half horsepower under your human child. God. Look, they're, they're talking about all this like technical stuff to how to build your own hobby cart. What is this? Build your own hobby cart with David Bradley quality parts and accessories. I don't know who David Bradley is, but that was probably pretty impressive. Okay. Okay. So what we're getting into here. All in one piece binoculars with built in transistor radios. Hear play by play description as well as see action up close. Look, he's watching a baseball game with his binoculars and the radio with this really fancy cord going into his ear. It looks like a hearing aid. 1994. Wow. What a concept. What a concept for the serious sportsman. It's actually, you know, it's actually kind of cool. I don't hate this product. As somebody who has had to sit in, in the nosebleeds at many a baseball game and couldn't really hear any kind of play-by-play, -play, I could see the benefit of one of those. Good job, 1960s Sears. Folding pocket size field glass. Magnify distant objects two and a half times. Little tiny field binoculars. And then new sportsman's wristwatch records your golf score. How the heck does it do that? Shock resistant with unbreakable mainspring one jewel movement. Guaranteed for one year. Built to withstand rugged use. Easy to read luminous numerals and markers. Inset and dial shows golf score up to 99. Well, what happens if you go over 99? Because I know that that happens. I guess that's only for golfers who can keep it under 100. And here we've got golf stuff. Blake, are you watching? New art wall personal models. Art wall. Is that a person? I suppose that is art wall. I don't know who art wall is. But here's your woods and your irons and your things of clubs and ball hitting apparatus for all your golfing needs. There you go. See your 1960 spring general catalog for a complete selection of J.C. Higgins golf clubs and golf accessories. And here's your Doug Ford line. I guess all golf clubs just had to have some sort of a golfer attached to it. Oh, I see. He was the 1957 Masters champion. Won the 1959 Canadian Open. Among top 10 money winners for nine straight years. He was a big deal, that Doug Ford. And I have never heard of him. But why would I? I don't like golf. And I'm married to a golf coach. So go figure that one. Ooh, bikes. Here's a J.C. Higgins bike. Lowest price ever with twin truss bar frame. Boys or girls, 26 or 24 inch size, $29.88. That was probably a lot of money back then. Gotta imagine. Coil spring two-tone saddle. Tires are imported from Belgium or Sweden. Wow. Boys models are bright red. Girls are blue. Really? Well, they kind of mixed up the colors there, didn't they? Boy and girl in your family, they can both use a J.C. Higgins convertible. They can. They're both allowed to use it. Look, the little bar goes down. Is that what happens? Easy to convert. Simple remove top bar. I never personally really understood the difference between a boy's bike or a girl's bike. If anyone wants to explain that to me in the chat or in the comments, please let me know. I mean, I get that there's like a bar on top for a guy, but... I never really understood why. Is it a center of gravity thing? Is it a anatomy thing? Is it a height thing? I don't understand it. I just don't. And here's a famous J.C. Higgins quality boys or girls bike. Exciting modern flow bar styling. Sleek streamlined tank. Stylish fender light casts brilliant beam. Oh yeah, there's the light on the front of there. That's pretty cool. Ah, and then now over here we have the, the badminton set to go along with the clothing we saw in the very beginning of the catalog, you know, for when you're playing athletic competitions in the Catskills and you have your Jamaica shorts on or your pedal pushers, you know, you've got the proper attire for now. Here's your proper equipment for playing badminton. Here's another set right here. And of course there's your shuttlecocks. Plastic reinforced rackets made of multi-laminated Japanese ash. They're better if they're Japanese. Save $2 on pro model fielder's mitts. Here's some nice 1960s gloves for you. Oh, that one's autographed by Bob Clement. 
Bob Clemente to J.C. Higgins Fielder Glove, autographed by famous National League outfielder Bob Clemente. I'm assuming he didn't actually sign each one. Ah, croquet. Yes, another very 1960s game. Mallets and balls resist chipping. Grooved, knurled balls, knurled? Literally, I have never seen that word in my entire life. K-N-U-R-L-E-D. Not once have I ever seen that word before. Ah, boat stuff. Fishing, motors, more man content coming at us. Those life jackets look really, really, really high tech. <laughs> I especially love the striped pattern on that one. U.S. Coast Guard approved life jackets though. I mean, at the time, this was industry standard right here. And then look, here's the U.S. Coast Guard approved cushions for safety and comfort. So I'm assuming this is you can use your seat as a flotation device in case of an emergency type of deal here. What are all these patterns all over it? I'm gonna have to read through here. They're novelty designs. Vinyl leatherette in three designs artificial respiration checkerboard and skin diver insignia what do we mean artificial cpr it's got cpr on it all right that's helpful snap together cushions round shape cushions we've got rules of the road small craft warning and nautical knots i see so these are all just very nautical <laughs> all-purpose poncho that's a look. Outfit the family at this price. The whole family can have matching ponchos when you go out on the boat to catch fish together. Because that's what we all do. And this doubles as a durable ground cloth. Well, sure. A camper's must. A windbreak. An emergency shelter. A cover for your camp gear. It slices, it dices. It's the basomatic of ponchos. And now we've got fishing stuff. Uh-huh. That's really interesting for me. Almost as interesting as these like outboard motors. Super amazing and damn expensive. Whoa. Holy moly. I don't have anything to say about these. There's some motors for you for your fishing trips that I know nothing about. Oh, we got color boats. Sunshine yellow. Okay. 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 Let's go over here. Here's a little dinghies. Here's a 12-foot aluminum fisherman with the motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Down here, there's a little trailer for it. Again, expensive. Dang. Okay, now then. Wow, that is such like the boat of 1960. Boating outfits. Buy now for summer. So they literally sold boats at Sears. I had no clue 14 foot fiberglass runabout with a 40 horsepower motor and controls 1229 1229 and the motor boat motor controls plus 800 pound capacity trailer so that's together right is 1390 if you buy them separate you're paying 1475 got it wow available in three color combinations white hull with poppy red i gotta assume that's what that is citron yellow or turquoise deck where's the turquoise that's the one i want i guess it's not sunshine yellow it's citron yellow because it's cooler than that it's for a boat it's not for some stupid towels in your bathroom this is a 14 foot fiberglass ski boat that's a runabout but that's a ski boat it has 25 horsepower how come that one has more horsepower that's 40 horsepower and that one has 25 is running about more difficult than skiing? I had no idea. I didn't know a runabout was better than a ski boat. Oh my gosh. Here's the water skis. <laughs> oh, wow. Two in one skis. Look at that. Oh, the ski technology. I wonder how it's changed. I mean, I don't know anything about water skiing. I really don't. But I know about snow skiing, and I know snow skis have changed drastically since 1960. So I got to think that water skis probably have too, like all sporting equipment, really. What is this situation? Oh my gosh. It's like a death dish for the snow, but behind a boat. That's so dangerous. <laughs> There's your little, like, for children, little life vest to put around them. Oh, all these. These are all children's swim vests. Yeah safe yep yep that'll save your child behind a boat 
Yep. Mm-hmm. And I just noticed that these say junior skis. Those are for children. Timmy, you're being bad. You get dragged behind the runabout. Now look at all of this pool and boating fun. Gay plastic inflatable toys, swim aids. Beach float, submarine float, CB low float, CB low. That's this one. Ah, it's got like a little clear thing to look into. Got it. That's kind of kind of cool. There's the submarine swim trainer. So that would strap to their back and then they're just face down and drowning. Got it. Mickey Mouse little inflatable ring here. The Donald Duck. Donald Duck swim ring. That's supposed to be Donald Duck. That's zero resemblance to Donald Duck. That looks more like a turtle. And then the standard issue 1960 beach ball. Got lots of fins and flippers and snorkels here too. So very James Bond. And down here, a play raft and a paddle boat to send your kid down the river with a little kayak paddle and hope they can master the rapids. How else are you going to learn? You just do it. Oh, Okay. First of all, she looks really comfortable. <laughs> this is just like so odd. So unnatural looking. <laughs> Big fiberglass raft designed for fun. Yeah, they look like they're about to have fun on that raft, don't they? He's definitely got some kind of fun in mind that maybe, maybe she wasn't really thinking about that kind of fun, but I think he's coming after that kind of fun right now. She would probably rather be on this. That looks ridiculous. It's a water bike. It adds new thrills to water play. Fun and excitement for the entire family. Aluminum floats provide stability and safety. Doubtful. All are fitted with styrofoam. Styrofoam is, has a registered trademark symbol next to it. I didn't know styrofoam was an actual brand name. To make this bicycle unsinkable. Um, I bet we could. Bet some people uh, sank it. There's the trailer with lights and winch. There's another little little boat, a little fiberglass dinghy. Got some marine accessories, including an air horn, a boat fire extinguisher, and some fiberglass polish, which everyone needs. And now we've got some ice chests and jugs and things. Let's see. Plastic foam, best insulation we've ever seen. Keeps food and drink hot or cold for hours up to 33% longer than any chest or jug we've ever sold. It's a J.C. Higgins chest. Again, that J.C. Higgins is outdoing himself. This one is the picnic jugs are reduced. They're rugged all steel jackets with thick fiberglass insulation. 247, 288, 393. All foam chests, compact and amazingly lightweight for easiest handling. Well, yeah, they're made out of foam. They're foam. Insulated with expanded styrene plastic foam. The same wonder material in our best chests and jugs shown at top of the page. But there's nothing on the outside, so if you drop it, it's gonna break. <laughs> and this one is slashed. Was $16.97, now it's $14.42. Roomy 22-inch steel chest with laminated vinyl cover. Well, okay, that one had a bottle opener on the side too. That's my kind of chest. Oh my gosh, look at the tents. Holy 1960. I think these are like the tents that they had in the parent trap. You know, they're the Haley Mills and Haley Mills parent trap. That's what this immediately reminded me of. If you have not seen the original parent trap, not with what's her face in the 90s, go watch the Haley Mills and Haley Mills one right now. Stop watching this even and go watch it. Double side room umbrella tent. Combines umbrella tent handling ease with extra large sleep area. I'm sure it was so easy to set it up too. You know that it was. <laughs> Super easy. Duplex tent boasts two big rooms. Versatile design for two couple campouts or big family outings. Ah, so Bill and Janice could sleep on this side while Susan and Frank could sleep on the other. But what happens in the middle of the night? Hmm. Swinging tents. Over here, we have new complete trailer camper. Sleeps four to five adults. It's a pop-up. Look at that. It's a little pop-up tent. Imagine you can tour America with your whole family this year for just a few dollars a day. Goes wherever your car goes. Sets up easily in minutes. 
Hit the road, people. Go see America. Take Route 66 from California to Chicago. You can do it, too, with this pop-up camper. Four-way ventilation at this low price. 9x9 nine nine for $37.44. This one has a bigger umbrella. It boasts mildew retardants. They're 60 bucks. I mean, it's not cheap. But tents are not cheap nowadays, either. Well, here is a screen house. Extra high wall tent slash 1045 to... 1385 jumbo nylon screen doors and windows mean extra cooling comfort yeah i like the look of that tent 93.99 imagine wall tent comfort at this low price stand up convenience plus cooling four-way nylon screen ventilation 59.88 i love it makes me want to go camping right now there's your uh screen house new nylon screen canopy bug free sunshade and rain shield ideal for cook tent Picnic shelter, backyard, screen house, and dozens of other uses. Yep, we always had one of those when we went camping. We put it over the picnic table just like that. And that was like in the 90s. So, you know, still useful. Here's some nice camp folding tables. Very useful also. And then there's the, the whole camp kitchen. Stove, cook set, six plates, six cup coffee pot, three quart pot, five quart pot, seven and nine inch frying pans, seven quart pot that holds the whole set. How convenient. 12 piece cook set. That's just far too many things. I, I, I don't think you need that much. You need one pot, one pan, and a coffee pot, and that's it. Service for four persons includes four cups, four plates, six cup coffee pot, nine inch frying pan, five quart stew pot with bale handle, and seven quart pot with bale handle. All pieces nest inside seven quart pot. Oh, I love that. It all nests. Here's your youth size umbrella tent, two way ventilation because, you know, kids don't need that much ventilation. And then save on J.C. Higgins youth size tents regularly made for active campers. That's very Boy Scouts, isn't it? Okay, I'm seeing some color. That's exciting. Here's our vinyl air mattresses. Oh man, I mean, I have, I have experienced one of these before and let me tell you, it is not that great. It's really not. There's a lot better stuff out there nowadays. <laughs> but I guess it's better than sleeping on the ground. The cots. Cots are more my thing. We used cots when I went camping. I, I do like that, although you sometimes will get a draft coming up underneath it. And it, it they get a little cold sometimes. So nice to know camping technology has changed so much over the years. And look at this. We have like a bunk bed cot. Double decker cot and two colorful cot pads. Cots fit together just like regular double decker bunks. Converts easily to single cots. Heavy olive drab duck firmly stitched around tubular aluminum frame. Lightweight, folds for carrying, storage. Plastic caps on leg ends. Each cot 28 by 74 inches and 30 eight inches high. Pads covered with easy to clean vinyl plastic bright floral design beautiful and then this is borderline genius she can just lounge and read her magazine it's an air lounge folds to purse size <laughs> stick it in your purse and then spend three hours blowing it up by mouth and only pass out two times in the process i'm seeing a car over here a turquoise car with the tailgate down and a sleeping bag in the back and i once again say please somebody invent a time machine because i want to go to there not that i want to be sleeping in the back of a car but i just want to see that car in its heyday when it was brand new and uh, experience camping back in 1960. save on station wagon outfits save on your travel costs too convertible just zip together to form a double ah how clever so it's two like single sleeping bags and you zip them together to form a big one. How smart. Youth size sleeping bag, compact and cozy, only $6.77. Machine washable sleeping bags, well that's helpful. Oh my goodness. Big 24 inch motorized brazier with electric fire lighter, rust proof aluminized steel hood, plus chrome plated sp Bit basket and three piece tool set. Ah, uh, this is a man grilling action here. And frankly, I think it's pretty cool looking. And that is such like a mid century 60s looking barbecue setup here. And I love it. I love everything about this. <laughs> 
even the clearly misogynistic man marketing at the top here. Love it. All for one sensational low price of $24.77. And then the accessories, the steel drip pan, the three piece fire tool set and the charcoal hopper. Can't forget those. Over here, it's the full blown stainless steel hood and cover on motorized wagon cooker. Motorized? The heck? Serving a crowd is really no problem when you use this extra size cooker. Meals are more tempting looking, more flavorful, more delicious, and guests can be served all at one time. What? Light your barbecue and just have it rolling all around the backyard trying to serve guests with it? Uh, maybe not the best idea. Compact grills for camping and picnics. Fold away motorized suitcase. Eight piece patio wear set. Twin spit baskets. Weenie roller. Electric fire lighter. Oh, that looks not right at all. What is it? Just like zap it? That's not like a lighter clicker that we think of now. Four piece tool set, ice cream freezer. There you go. Here's another one. Two quart electric freezer. Makes delicious ice cream, sherbets and shakes magically, simply, effortlessly. <laughs> no cranking, no ice, no salt needed. Fill can with mixture, place in freezer compartment. Motor whips, freezes in 20 to 30 minutes, hardens in two to four hours. Then cooling treats are all ready to be served to family or guests. Recipe instructions too. God, life was simple. What did anybody even do all day if you didn't have to hand crank your own ice cream? Oh man, alive. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't even. Cook outdoors electrically. The clean modern way with automatic controlled heat. New Kenmore rotisserie barbecue broils, roasts, and barbecues. It slices, it dices, it juliennes. And there's the creepy squirrel lantern just lurking in the background. <laughs> what a throwback to the earlier pages. There it is in action. <laughs> That's like an Easter egg. They just sort of like casually threw that in there. Like, hey, remember the squirrel lantern? You bet you want it now, don't you? Now you can enjoy cookouts with no mess or fuss or ice smarting smoke. No ice smarting smoke, people. It cooks clean. Instant heat, you're ready to cook in seconds. Never any flame ups, no burning. Automatic thermostat maintains the heat you set. It's an oven. Okay, got it. <laughs> Extra big capacity cooks a 12 pound roast or fowl on motorized spit, broil on top at the same time. It sounds more like a toaster oven. <laughs> Isn't that kind of what we're looking at here? Hey, what kind of barbecue sauce have they got? What brand is that? Can't really read it. Looks like something pit. New Kenmore portable broiler grill. Really does remind me of like a toaster oven. Handy helpmates that make your outdoor electric cooking easier, faster more taste tempting. Got a thermostat spit, a weenie wheel. Everybody needs a weenie wheel in their life. A broil basket and a heavy duty extension cord. And hammocks. For the first time, a completely reversible hammock. Just a flick does the trick. <laughs> Change in seconds from gay floral print to geometric design. Ah, two different prints on each side. Now we're talking geometric versus floral. And over here we've got floral in a plaid. Reversible vinyl coated cotton. Extra durable and weather resistant. Breeze easy to wipe clean. Detachable cotton filled pillow. Love it. Modern rain or shine fabric. And then twin hammock. Leads a double comfort life. Hang out with your twin. Again, Haley Mills and Haley Mills starring in the parent trap right now. Two full size hammocks on a single stand. Yet overall 120 by 60 inch size is just a fraction more than the space needed for a single hammock and think of the extra pleasure no more waiting turns for hammock fun and rest strong woven cotton fabric one red plaid and one green plaid well thank god the children won't have to fight anymore as long as you only have two children extra thrifty colorful and fade resistant too and we do have some water damage on this page right here look at that i wonder when that happened it wasn't me Three hookup styles, two point swings freely. Three point rocks, but can't tilt. Four point forms non rocking cot. All sorts of options. Oh my goodness. We're getting down to the end here too, you guys. One more page after this one. Check out the patio furniture. Oh my God, it's so good. 
Colorful patio pieces, smart inner spring chase, seven foot spread umbrella. The chase says plenty of He-Man comfort. He-Man? Say what now? 28 by 72 inch size plus rugged tubular aluminum frame. Let's even husky six footers stretch out. <laughs> Uh, hey, Blake, you want to sit on that? Five comfortable back positions let you make the most of your lounging fun. Two-piece cushion, 40-coil seat, 20-coil back, padded with cotton and insulated with sisal. Fabric reinforced vinyl plastic cover, six-inch wheels for ease of moving, rust-resistant hardware throughout. Whew. And then it's got a cover, too. That little thing folded over right there is a cover. It fits 42-inch diameter umbrella tables. So we've got like covers to go on all this stuff too. Three, easy pull cord, lift and manual tilt umbrella. Exterior in medium green, yellow or white. There's a 42 inch diameter table or a 16 inch diameter aluminum shell that you would fill up with sand, it says. So your umbrella doesn't fly away. And look at this little get up. Oh man, do I want just one of those. <laughs> I want that whole a whole little setup right there. Clamp umbrella, versatile use on chair or as golfing or rain umbrella, 50 inch diameter, medium green and white or yellow and white, sturdy stacked chair, polished tubular aluminum frame and woven plastic webbing combined for durability, style and comfort, medium green, yellow and white webs. And then don't forget the bluebell garden light. I feel like that's the same one as before, but here it is in action all together in this perfect little scene. And here's some replacement pads, you know, for your gliders and your chase. There's a chase pad. Over here, we've got folding chase and two folding chairs for $24.88. What a bargain. I love this type of chair, by the way. Uh, these are getting kind of trendy. I don't know, at least around here. I see people grabbing these at estate sales and stuff and they sell for a pretty good amount of money if they're in good condition. Medium green or yellow vertical webs both with white horizontal webs. And then this little number here, three piece group, steel with enamel finish, rugged one inch diameter tubular frames, chair seats and backs of fabric reinforced plastic. <laughs> Great. In brown and yellow floral pattern that smartly contrasts with the copper tone frame. Low priced for this size and quality. Six and eight foot knotty pine sets. Six foot is 26.88, eight foot is 34.88. And you guys, this is it. <laughs> oh, the final page we are leaving on like my dream patio set. The newest patio styling. God, it's so good. Airy, carefree vinyl cord. Something new under the sun. So fresh and eye appealing. Yes, it is. Yet so tough, it will last indefinitely. Well, find me one then, dang it. Where is it, Sears? It's gonna last indefinitely. Somebody's gonna have one that I can buy. Sheds water like a duck's back. Stays cool as a sea breeze, even under the blazing sun. Wipes clean in a wink. Smart enough for use indoors too. Hell yeah, let's just get rid of my dining table. Put that in there. Polished tubular aluminum frames, rust resistant hardware, state color white or turquoise. Turquoise, uh, please. And thank you. Folding chases, stack chair, folding chair, seven foot garden umbrella. <sighs> Wrap it all up and ship it to me from the time machine. The newest patio colors, summer gold and white. Ah, we got a trend alert here. 1960, the newest patio colors were summer gold and white. There you go. And there's, they're pushing that bluebell lantern thing again. Oh, these are fantastic. I saw one of those at an antique mall in Palm Springs, and I cannot even tell you how much I wanted to get it. It had a different fabric on it. It was more turquoise of a cushion, and it was in amazing condition. And that one goes with this umbrella, too. Your choice, 1999. A trio of outstanding values, specially selected to add more enjoyment to your leisure living. I need more enjoyment to my leisure living. I really do. This three-piece group of chairs 1999 the umbrella 1999 and the the lounge was also 1999 what bargains and lastly on the back here we're gonna end on never before in sears history the 15 cubic foot cold spot freezer with lifetime porcelain interior lifetime and check out that interior is turquoise thank you very much 
only $189 cash or $5 down. A truly outstanding value. Another reason why Cold Spot outsells all other freezers. Only a big 525 pound capacity freezer can store the quantities and varieties of food to please all the family. All of it. Only a porcelain enamel interior offers so carefree a finish. It resists both stains and rust. Order now and get both capacity and durability at a price that's an all time Sears low. Includes wire basket, divider, counterbalanced lid with built in key lock, light and adjustable cold control. 37 inches high, 55 inches long, 33 inches deep. We'll pass through a 28 inch doorway with the lid removed. By the way, that's very important. White enamel exterior, $189. Who else? Who else at this low price includes protection like this? Five year food protection warranty, five year freezer system warranty, one year free service warranty. There it is, there's the cold spot. And that's it everyone. Oh, I cannot thank you all enough for joining me in another Sears catalog flip through series. The 1960 Sears summer sale catalog did not disappoint. Let me tell you, let's say goodbye to Nancy and sweet little Susan. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone. Mm -hmm.